on the We Talk Trail today. It's a small 7.8 mile loop uh, down in Jones County, North Carolina. Uh, still in the Croatan National Forest. We had originally planned to do the uh, Nusiak Trail earlier in the day. <laughs> this seems like a pretty terrible idea. I think we're gonna be a lot more miserable than we wanna be. Well, that was about 100 feet of the Nusiak Trail. <laughs> It's a little bit wet out, about uh, three to four inches of water every, and it wasn't stopping. Hey, we, we gave it a shot. Weather has since dried up a little bit. It's not raining, so that's a plus. Uh, but the ground is still swampy, uh, which is fitting given uh, where we are in the eastern part of North Carolina. Given the nature of the trail, the route it takes up above the lower uh, stream portions, it's not likely that we'll see any Venus fly traps or pitcher plants. No, the sticky ones, the ones with the uh, little, little balls of sticky goo on the end, I don't know, but those things do all grow in this area. It is interesting to know that you've got uh, carnivorous plants around here. Without the rain in the air and the sun finally peeking out, the weather is actually pretty warm. I believe it said it was supposed to be 67 today, and that feels about right. Yeah, without rain, without that moisture in the air, you're definitely starting to feel that heat, uh, which isn't a bad thing. My uh, rain jacket put away here and see if I can't catch up with the other guys. All right, let's get going. One of the nice things about uh, hiking this region of North Carolina uh, this time of year is that even though the weather is fairly nice, like I said, it's around 67 degrees, is most of the insects haven't come out of the woodwork yet. So there's not a whole lot of biting that you got to worry about. Most of the snakes, I believe copperheads are fairly prevalent around here. In the summer, they're still hibernating, hiding out. And I think the overall elevation change on this whole trail is a whopping 85 feet. So it really is just a nice, a nice walk in the woods. In a lot of respects, similar to the uh, Peninsula Trail uh, hike, that's a strong word for it, but uh, that I did earlier uh, last year, I think. You know, it's a nice loop, it's around, or you can do an out and back if you want to avoid walking on the fire road. It's what the last couple of miles of this trail turn into. You time it right, pretty good excuse to get outdoors. Remember, they're called, oh shoot, I forgot again. I think they're called sundew plants. Walking in this slightly elevated portion of the trail, uh, didn't show it because it was just a hill, not terribly exciting, but we've come up a little bit and there's no 
there's no water, there's no, you know, puddles. Some of the puddles in the past were, you know, again, maybe three or four inches deep, maybe more in some cases. But up here, you know, the sun beating down, it's really hard to tell that it has rained all, all weekend so far. Still, we're outside. That's a good thing. One of the interesting things I've noticed on the We Talk Trail here is the trailblazes. They are, well, there are two types that I've seen so far. One is a circular stamped piece of metal that has the uh, profile of a hiker. Uh, looks like it's got yellow uh, paint enamel framing it all, which looks uh, identical to the blazes at uh, the Peninsula Trail uh, out on Harris Lake. Again, another reference to that place. But it's also got these uh, strips of metal kind of bent out from the tree, just nailed into the side. Some are just kind of hanging there, these rather thin rectangular strips, but sometimes they've got what looks like reflective tape. a little bit swampy like I've said in, in places but it's really not that bad uh, overall but then again I do have uh, waterproof shoes so that definitely helps yeah I don't know if you can see below me here I don't want to step too deep but yeah that's not exactly shallow especially if you uh, don't have waterproof footwear. All right, we are at the point where the trail joins up with the fire road. Can't remember the name of the road offhand, but I think I'll hang out here and wait for the other guys and then just see what the plan is moving forward. If we're gonna just finish the, the trail as a loop or if we're gonna turn around and do it as an out and back. Pretty sure this is Fire Route 136. Uh, I'm reading the map correctly, which is, you know, always questionable. But we'll be on this for just a little while, and then the trail will uh, kick back over to the woods for a little bit, and then it'll drop us onto Fire Route 120. And I think that is the one that we'll end up taking back either to the vehicle or we'll decide to turn around and just back the track the way we came, so. So we're just past the halfway point of the loop. We are gonna do the loop today. Um, got about three more miles before we hit the road. Fire Route 120, I think. Um, and then just about a mile or so, maybe a little, little less than a couple of miles, 1.8-ish, uh, back to the parking area. A lot of the uh, environment is very similar. There are have been a lot of stream crossings. Uh, nothing major, I mean, nothing you had to actually take your shoes off or whatever, but you have to be a little bit choosy about how you got across uh, which logs you chose to jump on or, or try to walk across. One interesting thing about this trail is there have been several spots where there have been just a couple of campsites just kind of a short distance off the trail and the ground here is pretty much flat all over and those spots I can I can totally see just throwing up a tent kicking back for a day or two Of course, the unfortunate part of that is there have been a few places where it looks like people just completely abandoned their camping gear. I think one site had a, uh, what looked like a demolished tent, a couple of broken folding chairs. Uh, who knows what else we didn't get close because again they were they were off the trail not distant but they're still off and that's just unfortunate there's no need for that
mean, maybe there's a coffee there. Yeah, that's that's not bad. You can make that so, stride. Is that what you tried? Yeah, don't use that log. Okay. Just just step on the. It's right there. You, your there. shoes are waterproof, right? Yeah. Then just step on the bridge. That even though it's an inch underwater. It, are you are you rolling video? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to get wet and do something stupid. I mean, that's what I, that's how I recovered. Yeah, see? It's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>that's how uh, you get a, a tractor or bush hog through here. But uh, anyway, answers that question. I do wonder what it's for. Um, seems a little bit arbitrary to have a big open field uh, in the middle of Croton National Forest here. But uh, here it is. So we've come out of the wooded portion of the uh, We Talk Trail. Uh, as you can see here, let me step forward and see the road that we're on. Um, and that means that we've got maybe 1.8 miles, give or take. Anyway, this is probably the end of the video. Again, it's just a gravel road back to the parking area. So I appreciate you tagging along and uh, hope to see you on the next one.